Hello and welcome back. I'm your friendly neighborhood technician on today. I mean, well, tonight really because it's dark outside. I'm as is after work. Garage door shut because it's super windy, super cold. Um, but today we are going to get the transmission separated from the engine and then we're going to get the engine mounted up on that yellow engine stand that I have. If I can, I need four more bolts to mount that up properly. So I might have to go uh, buy some longer bolts that are right, the right thread size. Since the thread size on the uh, bolts for the transmission to the engine are slightly different than newer Mercedes engines. So I don't really have uh, a lot of those bolts that are long enough to um, fit in the uh, the mounting brackets on the uh, engine stand. So uh, I'm probably going to have to find some of those. But then we're going to get it mounted up. We're going to take the pan off and we're going to see how far we can uh, get doing that. But first, let's get to separating the transmission. Before we get to that, uh, I finally broke down and bought some tools for the house. I keep all my stuff at work, so um, it's it's a pain in the butt to, to have to transport stuff back and forth. But I knew what I was going to be using on this, so I just broke down and finally, you know, fanboyed out on some gear and stuff. I like fan I like gear wrench. I've never broken anything gear wrench, so I just bought a ton of gear wrench stuff. Well, not a ton. It's a little bit. It's not very much. Only like 150 bucks worth. You know, gear wrench ain't expensive as Snap-on. I just, I hate how expensive Snap-on stuff is. So I don't buy buy a lot of their stuff. So I just, this isn't, this isn't gear wrench. This is like AutoZone special GM performance. It's just a breaker bar. This 27 for turning the crankshaft that we're going to need to use. And then um, we're going to need a 17 millimeter for the bolt, uh, for the bolts for the transmission. And then we're going to need a 13 millimeter for the uh, flywheel bolts that are holding the torque converter on. So we're going to need that. And then we're going to need the 10 millimeter Allen that I've already test fit there. You can see for the starter bolts. So um, let's get to it. So down here on the driver's side of the engine, uh, there is a little cover that I've already taken off with these. It's held on these little Allen holes or Allen bolts right here. And you can see the bolts for the flywheel right there. We're going to be taking those off. And when you rotate the engine over, you're going to always want to rotate it in the direction that the engine is normally supposed to rotate. So you don't want to turn it backwards and um, accidentally skip timing, stuff like that. So as you can see, you have the bolts right here. There's 13 right there. There's a 13 right there. There's a 10 in the middle. I don't believe you have to take off that 10 in the middle. Um, I loosened the one in the middle, but it uh, hasn't. Uh, I think there's a nut back there holding it onto something else, but I don't think that that um, is actually holding the torque converter onto the flywheel. So, But I guess we'll find out, huh? So there's that out. Now we need to rotate the engine and find the other ones. Interesting. Very interesting. So that's it. You got six torque converter bolts right there. And torque converter's loose. Get it knocked around in there. Just want to give it a push back. And then let's get right on taking off the bolts for the transmission. What we're going to do is we're going to have to eventually lift this thing up so I can get to the bolts in the very bottom. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to have to take off the transmission line right there there's another one on the other side we'll have to do that too and which that should also be a 17 as well but we're gonna have to do that we're gonna take this off that was easy and then I want to figure out what that copper wiring stuff is in there so let's go ahead and we don't have to take that off right now but we'll figure it out that's not actually attached to the transmission
Nope. Didn't fit. Nope, that's not a 17 either. See, 17. It's gotta be like a 19 or something. Good thing I found the perfect size for it, too. Then you gotta unbolt the, up here, you gotta unbolt the um, dipstick tube for the transmission from the back of the cylinder head right there which is a six millimeter. Then you have your starter bolts. One right there, one right there, which are 10 millimeter Allens. Ooh, the dipstick tube is going. As you can tell, I have the engine slightly lifted. Just enough to make it easy to move. Starter's loose. That's fine. Then just sit there. Oops, got a little spillage. I did drain the transmission first, by the way. So, here we are. Moment of truth, transmission is uh, unbolted completely. Let's see if we can get that off and figure out what that, um, where that copper came from. Looks like the inside of the wiring from somewhere, so. So I found out where the copper wiring came from I took the crank sensor out and as you can tell it used to come in here which explains why it wouldn't uh, try to start when uh, um, I was trying to diagnose and stuff like that it would just crank and crank and crank and then nothing um, but either way so it had multiple issues I had this crank sensor that uh, ate itself and it's got a blown head gasket so uh, let's keep going Okay, here we go. Took a fair bit of pounding. It was kind of stuck on that pin right there. So Let's get this thing taken off Well, there we go transmissions off looks like a uh, flywheel and Looks like a torque converter Alrighty, let's keep cracking Okay, so today's the next day. Um, I Did bring some stuff home from work one of them being, I, uh, one of the other parts that I had uh, still at work is uh, the crank sensor from the used engine they sent. Now, if you look right here, just that boot looks like it's cracked and stuff like that. But the sensor is at least in one piece, unlike the one I just took out. So, um, still looks okay. The uh, connector, I did spray that out with contact cleaner, so that looks okay. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and reuse this. Um, so... Because the new one is about 170 bucks, so this one looks all right. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Another thing I brought home: four bolts so I can mount the engine on that yellow engine stand. Um, I don't know what these are to, but they're the right thread size, and which was which is uh, difficult to find because the newer engines use a completely different thread size that I have a ton of bolts for, but I don't have this thread size because this is really the only thread size that I've uh, come across with bolts this long. But I had to buy these at work. These are about six bucks, uh, about six twenty-five each. So it's about twenty-five bucks worth of uh, worth of bolts here. So before we can mount the engine on the stand, got to take off the flywheel. Now I've already pre-loosened all these. They are nineteens. So just go ahead and remove them. 
Just remember where the shim is. Shim's right there. It doesn't go on the back. It goes right there. These stink, by the way. There's more of that uh, crank sensor. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this out of the stand and I'm going to bolt it up to the engine and then I'll put that, I'll slide this right here back through the stand, which would be a lot easier than trying to aim that perfectly just to get the bolts through there and, you know, be a pain in the butt. So that's what we're doing. And I'm going to need two nuts that size. I might need more washers on that. Good thing I have a bunch of spare big old monster washers. There we go, now let's set it on the ground. There we go. Now we can uh, start tearing it apart. Well, here we are. Got them sitting next to each other. New one, old one. Next video, we're going to get these, uh, start tearing it apart. See if we can get this uh, uh, engine running. Not too much longer, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And as always, thank you for watching. Hit subscribe, give me that thumbs up. See you next video.